Good day, ladies and gents, and we are once again back together and we are looking at a 3D trick. All right, let's get right into it. If you haven't subscribed, please do the right thing. Hey, what have you been waiting for? Okay, let's look at that uh, uh, question from the November 2022 exam. Right, so they say AB is a vertical flagpole. That is uh, root 5P meters long, AC and AD are two cables anchoring the flagpole BC and D that are in the same horizontal plane. And as you can see, they've shaded it there to show you that that's a horizontal plane. They say BD is 2P meters and ACD is equal to X as well as ADC uh, is 45 degrees, right? Now, ladies and gents, when it comes to these 3D uh, trig diagrams, as I always say, the best thing is to always work in the, you know, start in the triangle that has the most information, right? And find a common side. So that's always uh, the modus operandi, so, so to speak. Right, now let's, let's have a look at, at it, right? They say to us, determine the length of AD in terms of P. Now, obviously, to make AD in terms uh, of P, okay, um, we're going to have to work within this triangle over here, right? Uh, I want you to just think about it there. So I'm looking for the length of AD, and I've got a 90-degree triangle, right? We can use Pythagoras, isn't it? right? Uh, note that that 45 degrees is not within that triangle. Please be very careful about that. That 45 degrees is actually in the outer triangle, which I'll shade a little bit later on, right? So I'm looking for AD, okay? So it means that AD squared, so that's 7.1, okay? Let me just write that nicely. So that's AD squared, which will be A... Uh, that's going to be AB squared plus BD squared. Uh, so that's AB squared plus BD squared. Uh, our AB value uh, in this case is root 5P. So that will be root 5P. Note that the P is not within the square root. And of course, BD uh, were given as 2P. Right, so that's 2P. Uh, squared okay so that gives us 5 p squared that gives us 4 p squared and of course we're looking for the value of ad so we're going to take uh, the square root there right of 9 p squared and of course uh, because we're dealing with length we're not going to take the negative so i am going to say this is equal to 3p. So we know now that AD is actually 3p long. Okay, so I'm going to just put it there, right? So that's going to be 3p long. Okay, 3p meters that is uh, uh, long. Right, now let's go on to the next question. They say to us, show that the length of CD, right, uh, is given by that expression there. Right, so now we're going into, all right, I want you to note. So now that I have got the value of X, right? And I've got that 45 degree angle, okay? As well as 3P, okay? Right, so in this case, I can work within this triangle, this bigger triangle here, right? Just to show... Okay, there is my triangle there. Right, and what am I looking for? I'm looking for this side here, right? And I'm going to use the sign rule. Why is that? Because remember, uh, in this case, I don't necessarily have two sides and an included angle. I have two angles over there, right? And I've got one side and I want the other side. So remember, in order for me to get this, uh, to, to um, uh, have the sign rule, Right, I need to have a side in this case and this the angle that is opposite that side. So we need to find out what this angle is, right? Okay, now note this is 45 degrees, that's x. So that should be 180 minus 45 plus x. 
okay right so you can say 180 minus 45 minus x but it's better when we write it uh, in that manner right so that's 180 minus 45 uh, plus x that is that angle over there right and we're looking for cd and i'm going to use a side that i already have 3p and the side the angle opposite that is angle x right so let's write that down so for 7.2 I am going to, uh, because I'm looking for CD, I'm going to say this is CD over the sine of the angle that is opposite that. We said that uh, is angle A, right? So that's angle A. Uh, in fact, I should have said in triangle uh, ACD, in triangle ACD, apologies about that. You should specify which triangle you are working in, right? So that it's easier for the person marking. Okay, so this is equal to, so the side that we know, the side what, that we just found, that's going to be side AD, okay? Over, uh, in this case, the sine of the angle that's opposite that, and we said that's angle A, I mean, sorry, angle C, which is equal to X, okay? Right, uh, so... I'm going to say, well, CD would be equal to, okay, if we cross multiply, so that's going to be AD multiplied by sine of, now remember A, we said that's 180 minus 45 plus X, right? Okay, let me actually use square brackets there. Okay, divided by uh, the sine of X. Right, so let's try and have a look at it. We already know that AD is 3P, so I'm going to try and substitute all that I know. Now, we're going to use our reduction formula here, right? Sine of 180 minus, remember that's in the second quadrant, okay? So our cast diagram, that tells us that sine is positive there. So why don't I just reduce this to sine of 45 plus X, right? Uh, divided by the sine of x. Right, now notice in this case, we're still working towards something that looks a little bit, uh, you know, um, uh, simpler than uh, what we have now. So I'm going to say, right, so looking at the compound angle formula, we can use that here. So that will be, okay, sine of 45 plus x, that gives us sine of 45, Okay, cos of x plus the cos of 45 sine of x. Please remember compound angle formulae, right? When we have sine, um, the, the sine remains the same. That is, if we've got a plus here, 45 plus x, uh, that will be a plus as well. Right, divide all of that by sine of x, okay? So that's 3p, right? Now, if you think about sine of 45, right? Uh, those are our special angles. Uh, that's 1 over root 2, isn't it? Okay, so that will be uh, root 1 over root 2. So that's going to be 1 over root 2 um, cos of x plus 1 over root 2 sine of x okay right and you can actually take out 1 over root 2 as a common factor there and uh, this is divided by sine of x right so uh, what do we have we've got 3p over root 2 right um, let me just do this okay so I can take the root 2 or divide the bottom and the top uh, by root 2 okay so that that cancels this and that okay so I've got uh, 3p into cos of x plus sine of x okay divided by root 2 sine of x okay let's see does it resemble what we're given there it definitely is Okay, so we have proven that there. Okay, 
Right, now they say to us, if it is further given that P is equal to 10 and X is equal to 110, okay, they say calculate the area uh, of triangle ADC. All right, so remember to calculate area, you need two sides and an included angle, right? So we already have an expression uh, for CD. Okay, so we can be able to determine this side here. Okay, and we already have an expression uh, in this case uh, for P, right? Uh, we, we have the angle P there. I mean, sorry, the side P or rather um, the value for P, right? So we can find uh, this side here. So this would be 3 multiplied by 10. So it means that AD is 30. Okay, and CD, we're still going to calculate that, of course, using the expression that we had. Okay, and then we've got the included angle. Please remember when we're using this, uh, the area formula, we need two sides and the angle in between those sides. And the included angle is that 45 degree angle over there. Right, so first let's find out the value of CD. Okay, um, so CD would be equal to 3 multiplied by 10. Okay, uh, what number is this? This is 7.3, right? So that's 7.3. Uh, 3 multiplied by 10. We said this is the cos of 110 uh, plus the sine of 110. Okay, uh, divided by root 2. Uh, sine of 110. Remember, they did tell us that uh, x is 110 degrees, right? So uh, let me just put that in my calculator. Um, the one that I normally use, uh, you know, on, on screen, uh, I'm not sure what has happened to it. Uh, but please do help me out, ladies and gents, so that we can get to that answer as quickly as we possibly can. All right. Um, Okay, uh, I simply get, okay, let's see. All right, you know, you know what I'll do? Um, uh, perhaps I'll just leave that expression there. Okay, so you can find out what the final answer is. Okay, so that I, I just, um, so what I'm going to do is now take the area formula. You remember we found the value of, uh, a B uh, A D rather uh, to be 30 right so our area okay uh, so that we just save time that's going to be half of uh, a D multiplied by C D right the sign of uh, the angle in between them was angle D which is 45 right so the sign of angle D, which is 45. And now we can substitute our values. So that's half of uh, AD. Remember, we said that's 30. Uh, CD would have been the value that you got there, right? And uh, the sign of 45. Okay, right. I'm, I'm going to use a calculator on my phone. Okay, um, as I said, uh, the one that I usually use um, has kind of let me down a little bit. Okay, right. Um, so if I put that there, um, so that gives me, all right, so that's going to be sine of 45. Okay, there. All right, I get a value of 143. Point, yeah, let's round it off to one, uh, point one, one. Okay, and remember we're given that in meters. So I get an area of 143.11 meters squared. All right. Okay. And that is how the cookie crumbles, ladies and gents. Please remember, you always work on the triangle first that has the most information and you find a common side. And in this case, our common side was side AD. All right. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. And we'll see each other again. Shop, shop.